Deuteronomy the fourth chapter, 33rd to the 36th verse. Deuteronomy 4, 33 to the 36th verse. But before we get to that, turn to Deuteronomy 34. 5 through 12. Deuteronomy is 34. Deuteronomy is the 34th chapter, 5 to 12. I'm going to read first. Deuteronomy is 4th chapter. Deuteronomy is 4th chapter. I'm going to read first. Can't do my own thing. No, I can't. Deuteronomy 4, 33, 36. Everybody got it? Amen. Fourth chapter, 33 to 36. Did ever people hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire as thou hast heard and lived? Or has God a say to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations, by signs, by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God for you to eat you before your eyes. Unto them it will shoot that thou might in that thou might, that thou mightest know that the Lord he is God and that is none else beside him. And out of heaven to make thee to hear the voice that he might instruct thee. And upon earth he showed thee his great fire. And thou heardest his word out of the midst of the fire. Amen. I will deliver subject today or thought. It would be in the midst of it all. Amen. In the midst of it all. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care what the world is doing. All right. I'm not particularly excited about where the people in the world are going. I'm not particularly excited about everything that the internet has to say. All right. I'm not pick particularly, hallelujah, peculiar or excited about Facebook Come on. or Twitter. Come on. I'm not excited about the war and the feud between families. Come on. I'm not excited about what you have to say to me about each other. Come on. I'm not particularly excited about what you got to say, about what your family has to say about this church, or what your family got to say about me. Come on. I'm not particularly excited about anything you got to say. Come on. But in the midst of it all, God still gets the glory. Yes, but in the midst of it all, who God put up, can't nobody sit down. Amen. You didn't have no business choosing me to be pastor. Amen. You didn't have anything to do it when God laid the anointing on me. Amen. You didn't have anything to do it when God chose me to preach the gospel. Amen. You didn't have anything to do with it when he told me to be pastor, by the way. That's right. But in the midst of it all, 
God still gets the glory. In the midst of it all, God is still blessing New Day. In the midst of it all, God is still blessing me. You're not stopping my food. You're not stopping me buying a car. You're not stopping me wearing my nice clothes. You're not stopping my money. You're not stopping my progress. In the midst of it all, Jesus has the last say. In the midst of it all, Jesus will take you from earth to glory. In the midst of it all, he brought you to hell. All right. All right. All right. Amen. In the midst of it all. Bless the Lord. I didn't put you in hell. You put yourself there. Amen. I didn't put you in chaos. You put yourself there. Amen. I didn't create the wall. You did. Amen. But I shall finish it. Amen. How should you finish it, preacher? By the blood of Jesus. Because he gave me the authority. Yes. Hallelujah. He gave me the authority. Amen. The Bible said, Hallelujah, I will give Peter, Hallelujah, the power, Hallelujah, to curse anything on earth, Amen. to bless anything on earth, to bound anything on earth, yes. and to set anything on in heaven free. Amen. I didn't say that. The word of God said it. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. For that cause alone. Hallelujah. I didn't put you in hell. You did. Amen. You did it all by yourself. Right. You didn't have need anybody else's help. Sure by your mouth and your tongue. Tearing down people's character. Lying all the day long about people's character. Setting up people to fall. And you fell in your own ditch. Hallelujah. In the midst of it all. Bible said his eyes were good. Turn to Deuteronomy 34. Deuteronomy the fourth chapter. Did I read that already? Yes, Amen. Bishop. Turn to Deuteronomy 34 and write. 5 to 12. Yes. Yeah. Trying to stay with this, but I'm so full. You don't even know about the bus. You don't even have any idea. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Kids were telling my message. Eddie was telling my message. And neither one of them knew what I was going to preach. Amen. Deuteronomy 34, 5 and 12. Reads like this. 34, 5 and 12 of Deuteronomy. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died. There in the land of Moab, According to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Bethor. But no man knoweth his sepulcher unto this day. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eyes was not dim, and his natural force was obeyed. After the children of Israel swept for Mo wept for Moses in the plains of Mo 30 days. So the days of weeping and moaning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord Commanded Moses. All right. Hallelujah. Moses was 120 years old. 120. Yep. His eyes was not even dim. Nope. Meaning he had no cataracts. He didn't need no glasses. Nope. He could see 2020 vision. Sure awesome. It means his hearing was sharp yep. as your hearing. Uh -huh. He didn't need no hearing aid. His strength was strong as ever, yep. as if he was 40 years old. The Bible said his force was obeyed. Uh -huh. Obey is a verb. It means 
it wasn't lessened and it wasn't decreased. Come on. It wasn't reduced. Yeah. Meaning his strength. Well, like he can move a mountain. Amen. But when you get ready to die, you don't have to be sick. No. When you get ready to die, you don't have to be old and, and crippled. No. Amen. You don't have to be can't see, mm -hmm. can't hear. Amen. But when God comes back for you, he just takes your breath. Because he knows your beginning and he knows your ending. Amen. And I don't even care. God got me in a place in a revival mode. I don't even care what people think about me no more. Come on, I don't care what you think no. in New Day. No. God has got me in a place where I just want to preach and go home. I just want to preach like I'm in revival mode. I just want to set people free. I want to tell you a liar to your face. I want to cast out every demon spirit in you. I want to cast out every jealousy, every envy spirit in you. I want to break the chains of bondage. Amen. And I want to loose every man and woman. Amen. I ain't here to make you happy. No. Don't care no. about making you happy. Because God gets the glory. Amen. God bring you your joy. Amen. God elevates you. God delivers you. Amen. I'm just here to deliver the message. That's it. Amen. That's it. That's right. Amen. That's what's wrong with the leadership world today. Having leadership conference. Having people lead leadership conference. And they don't know how to lead their family. Having people lead leadership conference. Hallelujah, like these women leading leadership conference and their daughters are lesbians. Sitting in the pulpit, got married husbands. Hallelujah, and are lesbians. Scoring in the hotel, sucking titties. Hallelujah, and they call themselves evangelists. Want me to name their name? No. No, no, I'm in a revival mode. Don't mess with me. I'm in revival mode. Don't mess with me. I'm in revival mode. Don't mess with me. I stomp your head in the ground. Amen. I send you all the way to hell. You and your mammy. You and your pappy. I'm in a revival mode. Don't care about nothing but Jesus Christ and him crucified. Thank you. Yes, Help me, Jesus. You don't want to get me like this. Jesus. Hallelujah. And he and he buried him in a valley of mob. Hallelujah. They buried him in a valley of mob. And they couldn't even find the sculpture. They didn't even know where they laid him. But God knows. They didn't place a name on the grave. But God did. Everybody don't have to recognize me. Amen. Nobody never have to recognize me. Amen, Bishop. Hello, I don't even want you to. I want to sit in the back. <laughs> I don't even want you to. The biggest person I want to recognize me is Jesus. That's it, Bishop. The biggest person I want to honor me is Jesus. Amen. I don't care what you think about me. It doesn't matter what you think. Amen. You done hurt me long enough. That's you done hurt me too much. That's right. For me to even care. Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord, Lord. That's all right, Bishop. Amen. You better make sure you make it to heaven. Because he said, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. That's the truth, Lord. Bishop. Well, you done hurt me, you are hell bound. That's right. I'm here to tell you, I don't care what your mama said. Yeah. I don't care what your father said. Yeah. We're a pack your old grandmama. Yeah. You on your way to hell, and hell is you lifting your eyes. Yeah. I ain't no fake or no funny. I'm here to tell you. That's I right. die telling you. That's right. I sit beside Jesus and tell you. in your eyes. Amen. Touch them, I anointed you, my prophets no harm. That's right. I didn't write it. That's word. That's word, man. That's Bible. Amen. Preach. Can't change it. That's why I'm so careful to care for everybody. That's right. Trying to give money out to everybody. Trying to bless everybody. Sure. 
I'm trying to do right by everybody. Do, I don't do. even care if it's my children. That's I don't true. care who child it is. That's Stranger, right. I'm trying to do right by you. you do, Bishop. I don't care who it is. That's the I'm truth. trying to do right by you. That's the truth. I can't do right by you. I won't come around you. Amen. You ain't gonna never see me come around you. Amen. I ain't no fake or no phony. Amen. I don't play like I love you. I love you because Jesus told me to. Right. But I don't have to lock your ways. Come on, yeah. I ain't got to lock what your mouth is saying. That's the truth. I ain't got to lock how your energy gives up bad energy. Woo. And bring everybody down. Come on with it, bitch. Causes conflicts and argument. You Causes a fight and a fuss. Come on, come on. You hang around me, you'll have a good time. Because I ain't nothing but joy. I ain't nothing but a happy time. You show me. You got that right. <laughs> I don't know any about any other energy to give off. But a good time. That's it. Hallelujah. God didn't make me miserable. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I ain't miserable. So I ain't miserable. I'm eating good. So I ain't cooked but one night. <laughs> it wasn't two nights. That's all right. I went out to eat every night. That's you all right. Bitch, I'm not driving my car because I particularly like it. I'm driving it because Don Mazzarella told me to buy a black SUV. There you go. I went out and got a black SUV. I didn't have no more sister no bail. Because I'm an obedient woman. I don't mind nobody telling me what to do. I like people to tell me what to do. I went out and did it. Amen. Nice. I got so many clothes, my son said, Mommy, you need another closet. I said, Elder said he's going to come down here and build me one. There you go. There you go. Amen. I got so many clothes. Some of them is in Chris' room, hanging off, just hanging on five hangers. <laughs> oh, God. Shoes everywhere. Just shoes everywhere. And God said, Look back and count your blessings. God is beautiful. That's why you got haters. That's it. Go outside and peep at your truck. I know that's, that's why. why you got haters. There you go. Go and look at your boys. That's the they all graduated. Oh, that's that's so the go and look at the diplomas. Two of them went to college. Come on, come on, Bishop. Come go on. and look at your son's championship ring. When they put him yeah. down, said he wasn't going to play ball no more. Yeah. He got a championship yeah. ring yeah. in the midst of it all. Yeah. In the midst of it all. Yeah. In the midst of a war. He got a championship ring. Yes, he did. Not because you was his coach. Not because you was his best ball player. Because God got the last say That's in the midst right. of it all. That's to God be the glory. To God be the glory. It had nothing to do with you. It was all about God. God did it for him. God will do it for anybody. He did it for Eddie. And he said he got hit in the head so many times. And he said he got shot two times. And he was telling it all. Look at Eddie sitting back there, fat as he wanna be. Look like at he's sitting back there, muscles in his backbone, muscles in his chest. I was looking at you. <laughs> Hallelujah! To God be the glory! Hallelujah! To God be the glory! They hating on us. They hating on you, niece, because you got a man. They ain't got no man. You come to bed every night and get you some. They can't get them none. She ain't got no old goat, man. She got a young man can't do her right. Hello. Look at him. Hallelujah. I saw that man. I saw that man. I saw that man. I looked at that man. I know a man when I see a man. I know some bitches when I see a bitches. That's a man. That was a good old man. Shoot. Go ahead. Better not fool me. Can't fool me. Can't fool me. I'm connected to Jesus Christ. Connected to the one that knowing out. Good God of man. All these haters. Shoot. God. God is blessing. Every single day, God is blessing. By wonders, it may come temptations. 
Signs and wonders may come. Come on. It may come by war and a mighty hand. Great terrorists. You see it all in the land. Yeah. Bombing our children when they go to a concert. Terrorists. According to the Lord your God that brought you out of Egypt. God is still in the midst of it all. Yes, he is. God is still saving who he wants to save in the midst of it all. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He made thee to hear his voice that he might instruct thee. You ought to be glad you can hear Jesus' voice. Amen. Everybody can't hear. Everybody don't have an ear to hear what Jesus is saying. They turn Jesus off. They got a deaf ear and itchy ears when it comes to Jesus. They don't want to hear nothing about Jesus. They don't want to hear nothing about God. They think they're going to live forever. They can do it on their own according to this. No, you can't do it on your own coordinates. That's why you're drunk. You can't do it on your own coordinates. That's why you take a hit every now and then. That's, that's, that, you can't do it on your own coordinates. Sex won't even do you any good no more. Show yeah, I already know God done told me. You can't even get no sex anymore. I live because sex don't fill you up no more. You done ran your tail out. You done ran your tail out. You ain't got nothing else to do with call on Jesus. And your best call on Jesus. You better don't get on your rusty knees and call on Jesus. He the only one going to help you. Preach. Okay. Okay. Look as stupid as you want to and stuck on dumb. Call on Jesus. <laughs> and upon the earth. He showed thee his great fire. And he heard us his word out of the midst of the fire. You thank God they showed his fire. He showed his fire when Miles Jr. got saved. He showed his fire when Eddie ran up here. Oh, yes, yes. Bless God. Y'all don't know what the fire looked like. The fire look like when God is under your tail. How did he run you all the way to the altar? Because you can't do nothing but call on Jesus. Because you done tried it your way. And you end up in hell. You end up in jail. You end up facing a bullet. You end up in the street. You end up homeless. Amen. Preach for Jesus. In the midst of it all, God showed his fire. Yes, he yes, did. Right. In the midst of it all. But they're looking stupid if you want to. You better run to that altar while that fire's on your tail. Amen. Other people, when that fire's on their tail, they're like, what? Get this out. Whoa, come out. Whoa. You better run to this altar. I can't cool it off. When God's fire on you, I can't pray it off. No. God's fire, when God's hands on you, oh, Lord, help me. It ain't nothing but death. It ain't nothing. You can't escape. He want to squeeze your neck. Take the breath out of you. He will. Say it again. Amen. Amen. He's God. Him. He can do what he want to do. That's when right. he wants to do it. Right. However he wants to do it. Yes. Yes. Stop. He killed us all. He don't have no respect to person. No, he does. Does he, Isaiah? He don't have no respect to person. Isaiah's not good looking because he want to be. Isaiah's good looking because the blood of Jesus is resting in his heart. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. How do you know the Holy Ghost is resting in his heart? Because that boy loves me. Anybody that loves me, I know the Holy Ghost is resting in their heart. Because I'm a tough cookie. I'm a tough cookie. I preach the raw gospel. And Isaiah loves me. He throws a hundred dollars in that offer. He said, what's wrong with these saints and these people? Mm -hmm. Sure enough. Yeah, I heard about it. Because yeah. you know kids talk. I heard about it. He said, what's wrong with these members and these saints? Well, you better be glad when I get a job. I'm going to throw that money in that plate. Sure and he's doing just what he says. Yeah. 
Can you talk about these young people? Keep on talking. God's going to bless them. Going to excel. Going to get further than you did. Going to get further than you did. Going to accomplish more than you ever did. They're going to get good wives, good husbands. You watch what I tell you. They're going to ride fine cars. Live in beautiful homes. Watch what I tell you. Money's going to be in the bank. Watch what I tell you. They ain't got to go to no strip joint for money to rain. They ain't got to go to no strip joint for money to rain. God's going to rain on them. Miracles and blessings. the Lord for my youth. Amen. God has no problems taking you out of your hell and placing you in the heavenly places. Amen. God knows your problems. He took you out of hell and placed you in heavenly places. Amen. God, he has no problems create. He, he knows the problems that the devil created and he made escape for you. Amen. Yes, he did. In the presence of your enemy. Right when your enemies will stand you in the face. Right when your family members was kicking you down and you didn't know it. Right when they were sitting on you and thought you was down and never going to get up. Come on. That's when God came in and showed himself. Yes, he did, Bishop. He I'm likes so to glad. do that. I'm so glad. He likes to show you up. I'm so glad. How you show out on your behalf. He likes when your family members think you down and out, living in the gutter. And then he take you from the hell to the palace. Come on. Come on, Bishop. He ain't finished with you, Eddie. Come on, when he finished with you, you're going to have a wife and all kinds of money. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Preach, preacher. Come on, amen. Speak it. Speak it. Because you need to be married. You don't want to be married, but you need to be married. Amen. No, you don't want nothing to do with marriage, but you need to be married. You want a whole bunch of women, but a whole bunch of women's days is over. Amen. A whole bunch of women's days is over. Yes. I know it's time out for you being a heathen. It's time out for you acting like Sally and not like Sue. It's time out for you looking like Regina and not like Darlene. It's time out for that. Amen. I want you to get connected to a sanctified woman. Amen. I want you to get connected. Hallelujah to a bankroll of $100,000. Amen. Come on. Come on. That's what God gave me in my spirit. Come on, Bishop. That's what he going to get. He ain't going to get it by selling drugs. He ain't going to get it by out there in the streets. He going to get it by God. Amen. God going to rain on you. God going to rain on you. Because why? You still sitting here in the midst of it all. That's all right. Tell what God won't do. Yeah. I'm in revival. In revival. I'm messed up right now. I don't care about nobody. I'm messed up right now. I'm in a revival mood. Come on. You better not step on my toes. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, Evans Bretchen said, don't step on my blue suede shoes. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hallelujah. Your mother long you. Your mother long for you, but she can't save you. You 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 hear me good? Your mother prayed and longed for you, but she can't save you. Amen. Your father loves you, but he can't save you. Your grandma and grandpa love you, but they sure can't save you. Amen. It takes the hands of Jesus to pull you out of the misery of sin. Out of the struggle of hell and damnation. Out of the storm, hallelujah, of distraction. Devil is trying to distract you on every hand. Amen. When you leave here, he puts you in the environment of the pit of hell. And he wants to see what you're going to do. Amen. If you ain't going to pray your way out in the misery at all, are you going to cry your way out of the misery at all? Are you going to read your Bible in the midst of it all? Or are you going to fall by the wayside Come on. in the midst of it all? Come on, Bishop. Bless the Lord. 
out of your terror that's in your mind that the people have created. Uh -huh. Nobody didn't create that chaos in your mind but people. Because you talk too much on the phone. Get off that phone. I'm telling you, all y'all cell phone users, get off the cell phone. And see how clear you're going to think. Because them devil's spirit going in your ear. Come on, all up. that creation of hell and damnation. Come on. All that create of jealousy and envy and strife. Come on. All of that chaos of hatred goes through that line, goes through them airways, goes through all of that. Yes, it does. Down in your ear, down in your spirit, yep. leaks out in your soul, leaks out in your mind, creates hell and chaos in your mind. Yep. Come on, bitch, I'll talk about it. So sh shut that phone for a week. See how good you'll feel. Come on. Don't let them contact you for a week. See how good you feel. Come on. Come on, Bishop. You'll make your heart feel so glad. Yes. You'll be able to sleep at night. Yes. Put your Bible on your heart. Mm -hmm. Put your music in your ear. Amen. And rest with Jesus. Amen. I have a good night all night. Me too. I sleep good at night. Amen. Sleeping with the word of God. Amen. I sleep good at night. Yes, Lord. Waiting on God's return. Amen. Nobody else but your loved ones created the war inside you. Then they want to hide their hand, hallelujah, and put out love. I don't want your phonyism. I don't want your sometime loving me. You can't love me on yesterday. You can't love me today. Amen. I don't want your sometime love. Amen. Your loved ones will create that war inside of you. I didn't create it. I'm trying to pull it out. Sometime. Hallelujah. Don't look to blame anyone else. Blame your family. Say, God will call you out. He'll call you crazy. Because you're listening to the hell they put inside you. Because you wouldn't have a breakdown, they decided to call you crazy in the midst of it all. Because you didn't obey their whim. And everything they say, they be called you crazy yep. in the midst of it all. Amen. Because you don't do what they say, mm -hmm. they call you the dumb one uh -huh. in the midst of it all. Sure. Let me be dumb. That's it. Let me be crazy. That's for true. Because I'm a rest with the Heavenly Father, which is Jesus. Amen. When he cracks the sky. Amen. First. Dead in Christ shall rise. Amen. I'm going to reign with him. Amen. All the suffering I do. I suffer every day of my life. You don't know nothing about it. Uh -uh. I'm aching in pain right now. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Come on. It's because I'm a bishop. And I, my, my overseer's in a hospital. Amen. My sister Mary's in a hospital. That's right. My cousin Diane's in a hospital. Come on. So I feel all the aches and pain, every misery that they going through because I'm a bishop. Amen, bishop. You don't know the struggle of leadership. Nope. No. But you won't in it. Because you think it's a bank roll in here. Yeah, you pay out more money than you get. You pay out more money than you get. God is good. Yes, he is. Come on, talk to me. Yes, he is. God is good. Yes, he is. I'm almost finished. Nobody else but Jesus can love you. That's the truth. 
Your family can love you sometimes, but not like Jesus. You would have lost your mind if it wasn't for Jesus. You would have lost your mind. I know deep if it wasn't for Jesus. Ain't nobody crazy in here. Amen. We know all our hells we don't went through. Yeah. Come on, we man. know the one that brought us out. It was God. Yeah. It was God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the midst of it all, God prevailed. In the midst of it all, God still got the last say. In the midst of it all, I'm still standing. In the midst of it all, I still love Jesus. I'm still here Amen. proclaiming that Jesus Christ is our Lord. Amen. I am still here and there's nothing you can do about it. Woo. I still love you and there's nothing you can do about Come it. On and, and you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it but go to hell <laughs> like you're going. <laughs> God has laid his hands on you. He has tried to get you saved but you talk faster than God. <laughs> Your tongue is faster than God's tongue. Well, so he lets you alone. And let the reprobating spirit come in your heart. Lord. Your blessings and your enemies see you cursed. But they don't say nothing because they read their Bible if they ain't in the church. They know you hell bound. Woo. You look and smell like the devil. You live like the devil. I don't care how you talk. God got the last say. Amen. Saints of God, you look good. Amen. Saints of God, you smell good. Amen. And you're living good. The adversary can't, hit, can't, can't, can't stop your blessings. They have tried to stop your blessings. Amen. They think you don't have no money. <laughs> Keep on letting them think that. Yeah, as long as God's sitting on the throne, you the richest child in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You the richest child in here. Because God is sitting on the throne. Yes. You better shout to God be the glory. Yes. You better shout loud as you can to God be the glory. Yes. You better shout loud as you can to God be the glory. Yes. Your blessings is in your praise. And your enemies can see it. Hallelujah. God is revengeful. And an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's what he's doing in year 2017. He's getting his revenge for the saints. Everything you did to us, God is getting an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. He's wrecking havoc on your family. He's wrecking havoc on your children. Hallelujah. He's messing up your family. He's messing up your bank book. He's messing up your home. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. In the midst of it all, God's getting revenge. In the midst of it all, He's breaking you down. In the midst of it all, the saints are getting the glory. In the midst of it all, they're walking on high legs like grasshoppers. I say up 40, 21, and 31. We're like grasshoppers. We're looking and we're hopping over our trouble. We're hopping over our struggle. Because God is getting our revenge. So everyone 